was crypto muscle come do with another youtube video oh yeah international renown worldwide think it is where it's at crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you in another video oh yeah crypto death watch series all right and uh i'm gonna be covering several platforms on just things that have been going on in this space uh, so yeah, just, uh, hang in there. The CMB is going to be the main event. All right. So, uh, I'm going to quickly just run through some of these other platforms out there that, uh, you know, just kind of made the headlines a little bit out here in the, uh, you know, Telegram and YouTube space on, especially platforms that we all know or been in or have seen, right? So let's begin with, uh, let's see here. We're going to go with mainnet. All right, let's go pull up mainnet. All right, and it's just a quick update on mainnet because it's garbage, right? So, oh, that's Muquant. What the heck is this? <laughs> how, how did mainnet become Muquant? Let me see here. Muquant. Uh, let me try that again. There it is, mainnet.biz. That was weird. All right, so here's a quick update on uh, mainnet here. Um, they post out weekly reports, right? And when they're weekly reports, the funny thing about it is that they, you know, post weekly trading reports and stuff like that. And it's just so funny, though, like, what's the point, you know? So here's uh, this past week's report, right, published on August 6th here. Oh, they said weekly PAM is one point. They always have a weekly whatever, right? And it says you should be able to withdraw your profits when the FFA removes mainnet from the blacklist. Uh, we need to open uh, an account and show... We are a big group of many accounts. And so with that, I mean, that's all there is. It's like if you can't get past that, then what's the point of doing all this? So, oh, man, they're showing open, you know, trade results, investor funds and all that. But it's all locked. <laughs> There's no you can't do nothing. It's stuck. And they're going to keep doing this and doing this. But what's the point if you can't do nothing? You can't release it. And you think the French financial authority is going to remove that? No. <laughs> That's why Mainnet's done. That's why your boy, the bacon man, left Mainnet in the first place. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. That They're going to keep doing this every week. But until things change, which it won't, the FFA is not going to release Mainnet. So, there you go. That's your latest on Mainnet garbage platform, right? And so, uh, here's another one that I want to touch on. I'll touch on this because uh, I already talked about this in a video. And, um, well, actually, a video that you'll, you will be seeing. And um, pretty much that they're doing the right thing. Is all I'll leave it at that, all right? They're doing the right thing, you know, after the fact. And again, the Bacon Man factors out of the picture. So that's two platforms right now we're talking about. The Bacon Man is removed and out of the picture. All right. So um, that's with that one. All right. And uh, we're going to move on. So here is a private group. All right. Private earning group is what I called it. And the last time they talked about anything, um, they were talking about completely removing the old name and you know moving on to a newer platform so supposedly they were supposed to release withdraws and you know you're supposed to only get a certain amount a percentage every week all this other crap right it's all in the back office and it's been stuck ever since right because supposedly it's all backed up and they only send it out batches of that all this other crap right the point of it is, is that uh, they haven't really gone anywhere since then, right? And um, when we look at what was published 
um, on my last update when I last talked about these guys, right? Let me show you here. This was on the first, so a week ago. They were talking about how they're supposed to have a new comp plan in the next 72 hours. As far as I know, there hasn't been, and there's supposed to be a new global launch of a new name soon, which hasn't been yet. So by August 15th, members will have to make a decision, roll out or roll on. We talked about all that stuff. It's all up to you if you want to roll out or roll on, whatever, right? And the entire process is expected to be implemented in the next 30 to 45 days. And they said, oh, very important Zoom call on Tuesday the 8th. Well, guess what? It's August the 10th, and um, what happened? Well, nothing, because <laughs> they canceled that call. So here it goes, right? They kept on pumping up this call and pumping up this call. Major announcements, major announcement, Tuesday. And then next thing you know, uh, tonight's call has been canceled. We're still working to find solutions to getting everyone made whole with no less than what they started with. Unfortunately, we have no additional updates as of today. Please continue to be patient. Keep the entire community on your prayers, right? And um, same thing. It says the same exact thing here from another person. So that's your latest on funds, right? And since they haven't been paying, it's been on Death Watch, right? And I temporarily took it off Death Watch for a week when they said, oh, they're opening it back up for withdrawals, but it was more of the same. Nothing has come out still. So that's why it's still on Death Watch. Mainnet's on Death Watch. It's probably going to be dead, right? Because if they're not going to be opened up by the French authorities, then Mainnet's probably going to die. And then uh, I touched on CloudFi only because the Bacon Man was, is no longer a factor. And the changes that's being done is a good thing. You got to watch my Cloud5 video. Um, funds, just cover funds. Uh, here's one that uh, came up actually yesterday, surprisingly, shockingly. It's like, wow. And this is a blast from the past right here. Elevate Pass. Advertising with crypto education. So they've kind of changed around the concept a little bit. Ooh, complete of restricted countries. So, ooh, that was a little scary there. It kind of froze my computer on that part. <laughs> but I'm back on. Um, so the last we heard of Elevate Pass, this is what happened, all right? You have Mark. You, know, you guys know Mark, right? Mark of uh, Impulse X. And I've done many many stories on impulse x all right and impulse x uh let me see if i could go back over here somewhere here uh i wonder if i have it around here so i've done tons and tons of coverage on my passive trades so it's all rooted from my passive trades all right they had a CEO named uh, Darren Bradbury, and he was the, probably one of the worst CEOs ever besides Jan the Bacon Man, right? And um, <laughs> the only difference is that the Bacon Man has never been a, like a legit CEO. He's just been a fake CEO all right, the whole time because he, well, he wants to be it, right? I mean, Darren Bradbury, he ran this company, right? My Passive Trades back in 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. Uh, or actually, 2019. And it was just a uh, advertising platform, and you were able to put in your deposit, earn one percent a day, you know, for whatever, right? And that thing ran for you know a couple of years. It might have been 2018, but it ran for a couple of years, and then the pandemic, March 2020, killed my passive trades, and along with that, it killed a lot of platforms too. Because come to find out, a lot of platforms was in my passive trades. Uh, I'm on the wrong, what you call it, platform. It's only because I'm just, uh, I don't know, it's left it here. <laughs> this is not the platform, no, but um, I am just can't find a visual here. I had one before for uh, my, you know, let me go back to here. So for my passive trades, all right? So they died. And they tried to come up with other concepts. They tried to come up with uh, ways to, I guess, carry on, right? They had Impulse X, which was just another rendition of my passive trades. Impulse X was okay, it was decent. And they were, you know, 
bringing results in crypto and then they decided we're going to start paying results from our you know daily profit making with IPX tokens so of course with that it killed the platform because you can't cash out the tokens if you're not buying it and there's no places that's willing to take it on an exchange there's no there's zero exchanges that accepted impulse x tokens so of course what happens it locked up and died because how are you going to cash it out if you're not paying out nobody so it was pretty stupid right but at the same time when they ran impulse x they ran elevate pass and then when i say they i meant the mark ceo right so if mark is the ceo of impulse x and and i think he was ceo he he had a big i think he might have been ceo and then he had some sort of position with elevate pass i think i don't know if he was anything more than managing the money might have been cmo or whatever in terms of like managing the money but with elevate pass very similar it's an average share type of platform um and even with that it lasted i don't know a year maybe 738 i think it lasted about a year maybe a year and a half right now it's still counting on because you know you can't do nothing with it but it's still counting and you can see this is what it was right if you guys recall this over a year ago right had it died and what happened was mark blew the books right he he blew the books with this whatever mismanaged it money's gone so they did a public uh dismissal of the mark dude and i've done a story on that too if you want to go watch that old story um and that's what happened with elevate pass they did like a public dismissal of him. He was very apologetic. I'm sorry, guys, and all this other stuff. And then they did, and then they ended it with, "Well, Elevate Pass will come back. We'll be back, all right." And so um, it was like, "All right, if you say so." <laughs> I didn't believe it. You know, I was just like, "Ah, Elevate Pass is dead," at that point, because how are they going to continue on if there's no money? And if you're going to ask us for more money. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. You know, you gotta be dumb if you want to give them more money. If dude blew your money, I was already whole anyways. I was just kind of lingering on, trying to just get whatever I could get out of it at that point, um, which wasn't much anyways. But still, the point of it is, it that's what happened there. Uh, let me see if I can find my Telegram. Did my Telegram went away? I think my Telegram went away. Let me see if I can find it now. Uh oh, it's vibrating. There's a vibrate. Oh, you can't see the screen on the bottom. <laughs> it's below the camera screen there. All right, so let me pull this back up. I don't know why my Telegram closed, but so all of a sudden, after this long ass hiatus, let's see when was the last time they posted anything. It says, um,. Well, they posted other bullshit stuff, right? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see when they died. Or when they, because when they uh, did this public dismissal of um, Elevate Pass with Mark, that's when it really just died, you know? And, um,. Trying to see where they did that here, because it was a, it was at least a year ago. Is this it right here? Uh, yeah, it's right here. So it was August twenty second a year ago, where uh, they said, "Oh, you know, Mark made a statement about whatever." He resigned. They just publicly let him go. Uh, effectively, he's not part of Elevate Pass. They just said, "Ask, you know, we're asking for patience." And then they let's see. We're working on bringing Elevate Pass back. Thank you for your support. And um, as far as I know, I didn't know that they were doing anything since that time. Let's see, coin friend portal is our main focus. 
So they worked on something different there with you know, the CEO here, Raphael. Uh, let's see. So they're talking about coin friend. I didn't even know they were working on this stuff. Let's see. Coin friend. I have no idea what that is. New partnership. So they, back in April, they have a new partnership with Abundant Staking. And let's see. So if you were to go into Abundant Staking, it would take the commissions and allocate it to Elevate Pass. Sound like a mess. The launch of Abundant Staking System is scheduled on April 1st. Screw that shit. So Abundant Staking went live, right? And um, that's to help recover Elevate Pass as well. And they released, let's see, Abundant Staking and along with their token. And their CMO just stepped down. This was also posted uh, yesterday or two days ago. The CMO stepped down, Kaja, Secura, and then uh, they did a webinar tonight. How does a recovery pack work? So they're talking about recovery pack bonus, cashback bonus. Screw that. So basically, I'll, without even watching the video, I, I'm betting that, oh, you know, you, if you buy into this recovery pack, not only, excuse me, that only, not only will you earn, you will also pay back what was lost, you know, in this whole mess and stuff. And I don't know, that, I don't like it when a program is dead and they come out with a new one. And, and then I've seen it before, right, where they say, oh, uh, if you put a new deposit in, not only that you'll earn, but you're also going to pay back uh, into the old amount that you weren't able to get out. And then, of course, that's not going to happen. So, you know, it's just it's stupid and it's a, it's always short run and then it dies. Right. It just, it just doesn't work out because people don't have interest and trying to do that they might at first because they're like thinking oh shit uh, i could put a new deposit and i'll get my money back but no it just doesn't work that way and it's a lot of work on your part because it's more than just that there's there you got to do a lot more work to make it happen and i was just like screw that shit it's just too much so elevate pass surprisingly back but i don't think for long all right so moving on here is uh, Afrique, AAS Afrique. Uh, let's see here if it rolls up. Uh, let's see here. Remember, I'm saving CMB as the main event. Oh, I guess the Afrique pages are loading up right now. Uh, while we're at it, uh, it said that um, now, the trading is supposedly back on again. Let's just see here. So, yesterday's meeting, they had an AMA, all right? So, they been working on this in the background. I did touch on AA, you know, Afrique News a few days ago, right? And the latest news is that trading is happening now. In the background, it just started back up, and then they had, and then they were kind of building up towards this AMA that happened yesterday. So with that, here's the AMA results that happened there with the CEO, right, Jessam. So AS version 2.0 is here to stay, and we'll continue to get better as the days go on by. Supposedly, instead of like one bot, there's like five different trading bots going on now in action. Trading has already commenced and will continue even as the development team continues to watch every setting and ensure that everything is in order. So, um, and it just started up maybe two days ago. All right. Uh, ROI still remains 1.65% daily for now till the system is robust enough for ROI to increase. Expect something more juicy in the future though. Wow. That's surprising. And withdrawal is on hold for now. The withdrawal window will be locked until everything is set to make sure uh, seamless withdrawals and and ensure system stability. Yeah, I, 
I didn't think that even though they announced, oh, the trading is back and all that, that that meant that the payment is back too or withdrawals are back. I couldn't see that happening right at the same time. I knew that there was still going to be time to where uh, it just, you know, you got to let the trading happen and all that stuff, let it work its way up before you can even open up the withdrawal window. So I, I you know, I don't know if they try to make it a big deal or not, but I, I could see that happening that it just wasn't going to open up withdrawals right away. If people thought withdrawals were going to open, then all I got to say is how? Because <laughs> if there was no money being made throughout this hiatus, this period of, of uh, maintenance, what makes you think they could just shoot out money now? I mean, that's why they wanted to turn it on, get it actively going, and then get it, you know, to where it wants it to be. So if it takes a few days, a couple of weeks, whatever it is, in order to get it back up and going and flowing consistently, then that's when they open up the withdrawals. So yeah, that's, that's a no-brainer. All right. So I just wanted to give you guys that latest AFREAK update. Uh, let's see here. Uh, security architecture of AES is made even better than before. Speed is faster now than what we've had before. They're going to be going for maintenance. Will be going for maintenance in six months' time. Only minor settings and adjustments will be going on from time to time, and that would not be affecting trades. The CEO apologized to the global community for making the mistake of trusting his worker with the security details of AS when he was sick and hospitalized. Um, and if you guys don't know the story, his worker or guy he trusted, um, I don't know, messed things up, tried to steal the money or whatever he did. And ended up getting locked up. He ended up catching him, getting him locked up, and I guess his court time is pending or whatever it is, and something like that. So, uh, Zio reaffirmed uh, his commitment to protection of investors' funds and leaving a legacy of sustainable arbitrage platform, the AES Ponzi killer. So you have that, right? So that's the latest on that. So a lot of a lot of news this week, you know. And then, uh, with that, let's go lead this to the main event. Now, the main event, of course, is this right here. CMB. Why am I talking about CMB, all right? So, if you read between the lines, I mean, it's so easy to read and see. And if you don't, then uh, all I got to say is you're going to fall and get suckered into this trap all right this is a fucking trap <laughs> so sorry to be frank about that but this is what happened all right let me just roll this back back to sunday all right so sunday here we are let's go back in time to sunday and i'll tell you what happened here all right and it's so easy to see so i mean it's it's a it's a no-brainer all right so Sunday, 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 where we are. There we go, there we go, there we go. So CMB Fallout explained with Jam, Marcos, Andy, and Don. So he's been pumping up this sort of uh, call. Hey, I got the Zoom call, and I'll, I'm going to tell you what happened with CMB and why it is the way it is and all that stuff, all right? And, uh, you know, he did that, right? Oh, you know, we're important call in the intel and details, all right? So... Let's let's get the story straight here, all right? Um, we all know that CMB, you know, came to be like big time in you know YouTube and all that stuff because you know Jan was the face man of it, right? He was touting about it's rug free. He said in his video, rug free for 24 months minimum, and that he's a CMO. And he is the man. He's the one that is kind of like the point man to this platform. Nobody knows the insights and outs more than he does, right? And nobody will, except for him. So it's funny, you know. And then, you know, he, he worked through all this crap and uh, tried to pump up promotions and things like that, right? They had you know, promo, I think the first 60 day promo, then they did a bull run promo. And all that is re in regards to what he negotiated or to talk to 
with CMB in the form of instead of having like this ranking sort of uh, way of earning bonuses, right? It went in a way of this promo additions, right? And you know, if you ran, you know, you earn a certain amount from the promo, you get paid on it. So 60 day promo came, that came and went, right? And the next promo was a bull run promo. That was never paid, by the way. Never paid, even though they pumped that shit hard, never paid. And, you know, he in this particular video, right, he kind of explained about how he came to be, how he talked to management, how he, you know, and it's funny how the story changed, right, because he says full transparency. And the funny thing about it was, um, you know, he's, oh, you know, here's the contract. He only showed the third page of the contract, and it's just a signature of the supposed CEO, right? Well, where's the rest of it? <laughs> Show the whole contract. I mean, oh, see, look, guys, I'm showing proof of the contract here. And it's like, well, you're only showing the back page with the signature of the CEO. How about showing the whole contract, right? That's why you're full of shit. But uh, that's not the point of it. The point of it is he said that, you know, there was a middle person he talked to, and with the middle person, then there was the platform itself, right? The people behind the platform. Then he went from back then, because this is what it was back then, and a lot of people can attest to this. Oh, man, he saw everything. He met with them. He saw everything, and that's why he knows it's legit. He saw everything. He saw the trades. He saw it all. In this video... August 6th, he ch changes that to saying he saw everything on Zoom. Just like how Marco said, oh, I saw everything on Zoom. Like a dumb fuck, you know. And all, all this was was a damage control video, all right. It was a damage control call because he knew that he's losing people. He's losing a lot of people because he's full of shit. And he is who he is. He can't change who he is. He's going to act like a certain way. And when he realizes that he's been such a dick to everybody, he's going to try to flip the script and, you know, damage control mode, right? Uh, and try to just win people back again, right? Try to be all good again. And we've seen this bullshit before. So he tries to explain about all this stuff that happened and the whole timeline from the time that it all began through the troubles that he went through, trials and tribulations. And then he said, oh, well, while they were going through this trouble, I had to start looking for other things. And that's when he talked about Max Spread and and uh, CloudFi and Vortex and all this stuff, right? Whatever, dude. You know this platform was beginning, you know, it was starting to crumble and it was the beginning of the end. And that's why you started to seek out other ones, right? And... Not only that, but try to be a C, you know, CEO of MaxSpread and try to be CMO of Vortec and uh, all this other bullshit stuff, right? Mainnet, oh, let's go talk about Mainnet, guys. And uh, all this other crap. Didn't do much with Mainnet. Um, when Vortec was known and it was made known to Vortec about this multiple positions, CMO... CEO and CMO this and all this other crap. Vortex said, nah, we're not going to have you do that. And so they dropped him, right? So then he went on to CloudFi and said, hey, I could be CEO of this. And and so, uh, you know, they let him be CEO. And, uh, of course, now, you know, he's no longer CEO of that either. So it's just funny. And then, of course, Max Spread dropped him too. So it's just funny how it is, right? Because when things start to unravel... He's nowhere to be seen. And then when he is around, he blames everybody for it, right? He still blames that people should have listened when he said don't do any deposits during the time they were in maintenance and they had issues with it. But the problem was you're not posting it in the Coin Market Bull official telegram. You're not putting messages in the back office of Coin Market Bull. You only posted it to a measly thousand member group that at best was only a thousand people. 
out of what 70 80,000 people that may not be in the telegram group may not get the message but yet you blame everybody you call them animals oh you guys don't listen and all this other crap and try to put it that it's everybody else's fault and that's what happened there right so when you started to blame everybody else you started to lose people because you're you're you know you're so high and mighty you want to be a CEO of everything and oh my gosh you know uh, you know nobody could talk to me like this and so you act you know with your nose up and uh, you know how you say money first people second <laughs> yeah and that's what you really mean I know you don't say that but that's what you really mean money first people second and um, it's funny how that all came to be, right? Everything started to unravel. So you drop mainnet, a max spread dropped you, right? And then you try to hang on to Cloudify. Cloudify recently dropped you, right? A couple weeks ago now. And the list goes on and on. CMB's dead. CMB's been dead, all right? And he even still leaves it a little window of hope that, oh, they might possibly come back. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. You know, it's like, they're not going to come back. CMB is dead. All right? I don't even know why he's trying to leave just a little window that they might come back. And he, that's what he was talking about in this video. All right? And this was just a mark out fest. You know, marking out to Jan, right? Because one of the things he made clear was he doesn't need any, you know, negative people talking. And if you come on there and talk, whatever, because he's already heard enough of it. He's just going to just uh, get you booted from the call. So that's one thing you made clear already. So other than that, it was just a mark out fest of, hey, mark out to, Mar you know, mark out to Jan, the bacon man, right? Hey, man, you know, good times this, you know, we're all good. So he told us a story, all that stuff, right? And, of course, you have these weasels here, all right, you know, Don and uh, Marcos. Of course, they're going to kiss ass because that's what they do all, all this time. They've kissed his ass the whole time. Right, they're they're mark outs and ki ass kissers to Jan, right? And so he don't give a fuck about them, and they're doing all the work <laughs> while he sits back and takes his time off whenever he pleases. He had a little bit of a stomach bug that took like two three weeks off, and can't even commit to his little video schedule, right? And so all this stuff, so everything, and then he had this whole Q and A stuff, right? He let people come on to speak their mind and ask questions and things like that, all right? And by doing all this, this is all just a strategy on him, all right? Because this is all damage control. This is all a strategy for him to try to win people back because he knew he screwed up and say, you know what, man, I lost a lot of support. I lost a lot of people. So what he's going to do, this is what right here, damage control. He was, he's doing what he should have been doing months ago when this thing first started happening, not after it's long been dead for like, what, two months now it's been dead at least. It should have been done when it was happening, when things were unraveling. And uh, this is what should have been done to say, hey, this is what's going on here, right? Because he lacked communication. And yeah, he went and even before this video he was talking about hey I don't I don't know nothing because no one's telling me anything I don't know what's going on here to all of a sudden here let me be transparent guys and let me tell you guys what's going on here now and this is what happened and talking about the you know authorities took over the platform and so the money is stuck and all that stuff and that's why I don't get how that window of hope is available and open if supposedly the authorities took it. And I'm just wondering which authorities, because if the whole system was set up in Hungary, nowhere near the U.S., and nowhere near any other countries that supposedly would have problems with authorities, how would the authorities take over CMB? So none of that makes sense to me. So all this was was a markout fest, and damage control zoom call to try to win back people over and that's what it was right so you know even marcos was saying oh you know he did this and you know we all forgave him 
right? Trying to speak for the people in his community, but people don't agree with that. <laughs> if you read his community, his community doesn't agree with Marcos' verbiage. <laughs> you know, Marcos was like, oh, yeah, we forgive him. So he's like, Pfft. so you're speaking for everybody now? Little bitch, right? And Don always ass kissed anyway. He doesn't matter. It, when things were bad, he was still ass kissing Jan. Let me tell you guys something. You know, I support Jan all the way, you know, and it doesn't matter what he does. And, you know, he with his little, you know, Nigerian accent that he has. And, you know, the point, the point of it is, is that, oh, and Andy, pff, what a fake sellout. He's a fucking sellout, too. This Andy nobody dude, he's a sellout, all right? Because, you know, he tries to act like, you know, I'm investigating this guy. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, even though I have to fly over to Hungary and try to find this thing and all this other stuff, right? To, you know, oh, you know, it's okay, Jan. It's okay, Jan. You're good now. And get the fuck out of here, man. So, damage control, all right? Full effect. Guaranteed get damage control to win people over. And this is what's funny about it, too, all right? So, let me continue with this part. So, after all this... All right, and I know they were tempted to try to want to talk about another platform to bring into the picture, all right, but they didn't. All right, they 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 kept it clean. So I'll give them that. They kept it clean from other platforms because people don't want to hear it. But of course, what happens next? He he he's brought on a new platform the next day, and I'll show you that right now. So of course, he's still pushing the Shurex. Shurex is garbage. If you like token platforms and you want to give up your KYC, go right on ahead. Uh, this this token value is only going to be what you make of it, all right? And really, no one really cares about it. No one's really talking about it but him. So he's going to do what he can to pump this shit up. And the thing about it is, this bacon guy here, when it comes to making bacon, right? Because that's what he loves. He loves to make him bacon, right? You know, and Marcos is my bitch. He always says it every time. It's funny. Every Zoom call. Marcos is my bitch. Right? Uh, the funny thing about it is that no one's really talking about Shrek. So no one gives a damn about it. He's going to pump this shit up. And if you know his pattern, he loves platforms that has like a deep compensation plan that has like deep levels of commissions and things like that. And that's what he goes for, right? Mainnet had it, uh, Coin Market Bull had it, Max Spread had it, right? See the pattern? Shurex has like this deep level commission type crap, right? And that's why he's pushing this hard. But this shit's going to die because uh, it's just a token platform. And then, of course, what's that other one that he's pushing on uh, besides Shurex? Uh, some other, oh, Tegeta. All right, so Tegeta is garbage too because. To me, it's just a glorified version of uh, Max Spread, all right? And so, you know, this is the Tegeta crap, and it, its theme is more like online gambling and things like that. So, with all that stuff, um, no one gives a shit about Tegeta also because it's just a glorified Max Spread, different theme that's all it is and that shit's gonna die they're both how about this I'll, I'll put this out there right now both of these will die this year 2023 by the end of this year all right uh i'm not gonna sit there and have a blanket statement like those sing brothers do where they say oh you know this shit's gonna scam right no i always put a timeline these two will die this year how about that so I'm giving them a long leash to make it by the end of the year. But SureX won't make it. It's just a token platform that no one talks about. Tegeta, it's only out there right now because it, it was slow. Again, I was in Max Spread two months before Bacon Man decided to join it and acted like he ran things. All right, I was back in it when it first started in November before... Bacon Man joins in, what, January, February, whatever? And it was slow. All right, it was slow. But, you know, of course, he brings a following. 
and uh, it, <laughs> he's like a wolf that brings the sheep to slaughter, right? That's what he does. Uh, and he does it every time, and people don't give a shit, right? They, they, just get, <laughs> they come back from the dead, he just brings them back to slaughter again, each and every time. And I just don't get why people fall for it, but uh, it's just funny as hell. Um, but yeah, so that's why Max Bread is dead, because it, it wasn't that good. Tegeta, it's a similar, to me it's similar. It, it's not that good. It's, he created a little bit of a lifeline to it, whatever, a pump to it. And, you know, try to make it look like all these people are getting into it and stuff, right? That's why all these pictures all the time on Tegeta. Same thing happened with Max Bread. And uh, same results is going to happen. It's going to die too. Because no one gives a shit about Tegeta. It's not as big as you think. They pay out once a month, right? Once a month as well. No one gives a shit, all right? This token platform, no one gives a shit. So now he pushes out this new one now, right? He got he got into the, uh, you know, head of, uh, and eyes of Lee Dalton now. Visible AI, right? So now he's pushing this shit hard, right? Because, of course, what do they have? Deep level compensations, right? And then all this bonuses and stuff, you know? Oh, man, holy shit, right? And so, of course, that's what he's doing. He's pushing this shit out now. And when I say shit, I'm just talking about his style, all right, of bullshit that he does. And, you know, we have added, we have updated our affiliate program and have added four more levels to it, right? So, hopefully, you know, Lee Dalton, you know, just doesn't let him get too much influence into that platform to kill it because... Lee Dalton is doing a good job right now as it is with Invisible AI and you know Invisible AI is a good platform and I just hope he doesn't fuck it up right because this asshole here has proven (laughs) and we've seen it right we've seen it it's all been happening and people are noticing people are taking a notice they're experiencing it he's fucked up a lot of people especially this douchebag right here yeah, right, this fucking nerd. You know, turn 1000 into $60,000. Guaranteed, they're going to try to push this on Invisible AI too. Guaranteed. Because they try to do the same thing with CloudFi. They try to do the same thing with MaxSpread. They try to do the same thing with CMB. They, they're trying to do the same thing with Vortex. They have this compounding spreadsheet. And, hey, you could turn this much money into that much money. All right, if you do this every week, right? Compound, compound, compound. Reinvest, reinvest, reinvest. Oh, no, no, no. Com- don't say the word compound. You got to reinvest, right? Re- you know, reinvest, reinvest. Uh, that's how they say it now, right? And because these ass clowns, they don't give a fuck about you guys. All right? Just like how he spoke for his own community. Oh, we forgive Jan and all this stuff, you know? Get the fuck out of here, man. You know? That's why he's a clown, man fucking nerd and clown and it's just funny how all this is and we all know that that zoom call was damage control zoom call and mark fest or mark out to mark you know mark out to jan guys you know just get the, get out of here that shit man you can see through that shit and then the very next day what does he do all right very next day he's pumping up a new platform just like that all right very next day after that zoom call and guess what else all of a sudden, he's opened up the chats again. Hmm, well, that's kind of crazy how all of a sudden, right? He shut the chat off originally because he got tired of the people coming on to him, saying things and all that stuff, right? But now, all of a sudden, it's opened back up, right? Because clean slate, you know, damage control, clean slate. I, I want to be, you know, open to everybody. I want to do this for everybody now and... All this stuff, right? Try to act all nice and everything again because, you know, that's what it is right now, right? All nice. And so, uh, <laughs> wait till things get rough again and how he's going to turn off that chat again, all right, when they come at him because that's just the way it is. That's his MO. And we all can see that shit. And that's the funniest thing about it. So, I, don't know, I just laugh at all this shit because you have these clowns. That act like they know it all. And they really don't. Alright. They talk the talk all day long. They keep talking. But man they're so full of shit though. And it's proven that each and every time. Because 
Ask how many people turn one thousand into sixty thousand dollars. All right, ask them. Did anybody do that in Coin Market Bull? All right, anybody? Oh shit, I'm here in silence. Oh, nobody did. Okay. How about max spread? Did anybody do that? All right, turn a thousand dollars into whatever it was, seventy-five thousand dollars, whatever, sixty thousand dollars. Did anybody do that in max spread? Anybody? Oh shit, it's silence again. <laughs> Nobody. Okay, because it crashed and burned. And um, of course, they didn't get the chance to do that experiment with mainnet. Uh, Tegeta, they they really can't push that theme yet. And I don't know why they would, but just saying. And um, how about this? Uh, let's see here. Surex, it's a token platform. They're not going to push that shit on it. Plus, he doesn't even have anybody following him on, on Surex. And that's why it's going to die. Because uh, he has barely anybody following him on Surex. And so, Cloudfy, he tried to, they try to push that theme uh, on Cloudfy about, you know, reinvesting and turning it up. You know, oh man, you can turn this into this. It, it didn't go too far. It didn't go too far. And so, that leads it now to Invisible AI. What are they going to do? I am sure they're going to come up with some some sort of compounding spreadsheet and say, oh, if you put this much in and you redeposit, you reinvest every week, this is what you're going to get out of it. So here's my message to that. <laughs> All right. You guys are fucking clowns. And... How about this, people? Anytime you make that money, take the damn money. Take it, all right? Forget about this compounding for the bigger payday bullshit. Take the money, all right? That's the biggest thing. These clowns don't give a damn. And they don't. They didn't ever apologize for, uh, you know, not following through with, oh, man, if you turn this into this, right? They were never apologetic about that, except, oh, well, did you read my disclaimer? Did you read my disclaimer that, you know, only invest what you can afford to lose, all this other crap? That's what they're going to say to you guys, because these guys are clowns. They don't give a fuck. Did you read my disclaimer? My disclaimer just says only invest what you can afford to lose. Get out of here, man. And that's why... You know, these clowns, you know, they, they they screw everybody up. And you guys keep falling for it. Just like this recent CMB call. I, I, I can guarantee you guys are falling for it, eating it all up once again. Because you guys are a bunch of maroons, all right? You guys are clowns too. And that's just sad, you know? Because I, on one hand, yeah, you know what? I, I do talk about platforms. I do participate in a lot of platforms. But I tell it like it is. And when shit happens, well, I tell it like it is. This is what happened. All right. Not one time I fake the funk and say, oh, well, hang in there, guys. It's going to be coming back. Or, hey, compound for a bigger payday. None of that's ever come out of me. None of that. Or how about this? Um, hey, uh, hey, guys, you know, put in this much, you know, deposit, deposit, deposit. I never say all that stuff. I always say, hey, if you want to, go on ahead. If you don't, you don't. And I've, I've done plenty of platforms when nobody joined. I've done plenty of platforms where a lot of people join. So that shows you the range of both ends on how I play it. Here's an example, right? Dixie. All right, Dixie, I only got maybe, what, one or two people that signed up under me? And I've been in Dixie for several months. And I've proven that I can still make it passively out of Dixie. So that shows you that I just play the game, you know, of this platform game of just earning it for what it is and what you make of it. All right? Max spread, I didn't get a huge following of Max spread, but I still made it. Really, I really didn't. There, was, there wasn't a lot of people that went over to Max Spread with me. Even with, uh, I mean, we could look at some of these other platforms around. Tegeta, I, I don't think anybody's really under me under Tegeta. Maybe one or two also. But I had a shitload of people that went under me with K100. Or I got a shitload of people that went under me with C12. Right? 
shitload of people under me with Vortex United. A decent amount of people in Cloudfy. But the thing is, though, I keep it 100 every time. I don't need to have bullshit lies and all this stuff. Because it's blasphemy, right? And <laughs> Coming out of Marcos, it's blasphemy uh, for him to keep lying to you guys all the time. He, he lies to you guys all the time. That's, just, that's a funny thing. He acts like he's holier than thou, but yet he lies to you guys all the time. In your face. Taking Fridays and Saturdays off. In the guise of religion. He has blasphemy. Get the fuck out of here, man. Fucking nerds. Man. These guys really will screw you over. All that fake bullshit. Andy, oh, I'm going to go investigate this guys. Even though I have to go to Hungary. And find and talk and try to find. See him. Get out of here with that shit, man. You're, you weren't going to do jack shit. That's why you're a fucking Andy nobody. No one gives a damn about who you are. You were just a follower. You are just, just one of those sheeps for Jan anyways. Same, same, Don, same thing. Fucking sheep. Marcos, sheep. Dora, sheep. Queen, D, sheep. All right? All fucking sheeps for Jan. So don't get, don't come at me with that bullshit. I mean, you guys, can, I mean, it's so easy to see through all that. That's the thing, you know, and I just don't get it with you guys, you know. It's, it's the funniest thing to me. I laugh at this shit all the time. You know who else laughs with me on the outside looking in all the time? People like, how about this? People like the real queen, Queen Wiki, for example. We laugh at this shit all the time. Hey, you guys are a bunch of clowns, right? And, um, you know, we laugh at this all the time. How about this? Here's a little insight here. Me and Jacob laugh at this all the time. You wonder who Jacob is? Ask me. I'll tell you who Jacob is. All right? Man, <laughs> it's funny how that is, huh? And, um... It's funny how a lot of these platforms come through me first, right? A lot of them. Vortex came through me first. I've been in Vortex in September. Longer than anybody out there in this space. Guaranteed. Maybe only my upline is probably the only one that's above me to Jensen. But guaranteed, I'm, I'm the highest level up there. In terms of, you know, being the first to start it in YouTube. Not not that Queen D. Nobody. I don't care what anybody says. Alright. Cloudfly, first to launch that thing out there. Go ask Jacob. Alright. Pegasus, first to launch that thing out there. Alright. Same thing. Metify Yielders. Go ask what's his name. Metify Yielders. What's his name? Michael? Right? Go ask him. First to launch that thing out there. Right here. I could, the list goes on and on. I could go through all so many of these things. And like I said, I don't need to have a big following, right? I don't need to have a big following, and I know I don't. But at the same time, a lot of platforms still go through here. And, and that I, I keep it 100 every time. When platforms rise, they rise. When they fall, they fall, and that's it. They fold in. I put it out there too. When they fold, they fold. That's why there's really not much drama going on with me when platforms do die, right? I think people are scared to face it, right? I always face this shit head on when things fail. And it's really up to people to decide, you know? I, I don't ever tell nobody what to do. I'll need to hide behind... You know, statements like, oh, only invest what you afford to lose. Right? Like a bunch of retards. It's so easy. It's either you do or you don't. Going with what you're comfortable with, right? That's it. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. If you can't do it, then don't force yourself to do it, right? Don't overextend yourself. Don't pull out loans and all this other crap. Don't compound for a bigger payday. What kind of shit is that? Bullshit strategy every time. 
and it's failed every time. I've seen it every time. Compound for a bigger payday. One of the funniest fails ever. Your boy Tiwi out there, right? Compounding. Oh, man, he was compounding six-figure payday. He thought he would have a six-figure payday. And literally the day he tried to cash it out, what happened? The platform failed. It died, right? You guys remember uh, Final Mente, the platform? That, that one. That one failed and died. And uh, the rest is history, right? Funny as shit. And I've seen it all with other platforms, man. Compound for a bigger payday. All right, going on ahead. All right. Look at look at look at cash effects. Some people compounded, 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 because they want to reach from the five hundred to the hundred thousand dollar pack. They've been compounding, man. Never cashed out. I want to keep compounding, compounding, right? Keep on uh, upgrading to the next level of pack. And what happens? Oh man, cash effects not paying no more. Holy shit! Never got to cash it out, right? That's what people are saying. Go ask that ball-headed dildo Steve. <laughs> Cash Quest Steve. Ask him. Hey, man. What do you, what's your strategy? Oh, I'm just trying to compound for the you know bigger academy packs. And where's that got you now? Nowhere, because they're not here. <laughs> right? They're waiting for phase two. And what are they going to do with that? <laughs> who, who knows? Man, the funniest stories in crypto ever. That's why I love doing the Death Watch series, right? Because... And people like, people love the Death Watch series. You know why? Because no one really talks about the outcomes of these platforms. These guys proven it. Right? The only reason why they're talking about it is damage control. I've been on CNB the whole time about how much they've been dead in the water for the longest time. But for some reason, you guys don't want to believe it. <laughs> I don't know, that's what it seemed like to me. You guys don't want to believe it. And so, it's been dead. I kept saying that. It's dead. When Max Bear was dying, I kept saying, this shit's dead. But you guys didn't want to believe it. I don't know why. It's like you're waiting for these guys to bring it up. These guys don't give a shit. That's why they never brought it up. <laughs> Till now. Two months later. You know why? Like I said, damage control. Trying to save their reputation of what's left of it. So that's what's going on here so easy to see you know I just hope you guys don't fall for it and it looks like based on some of the chats I'm reading they're not some are convinced oh yeah okay you know they apologize and stuff you think it's apology is sincere nah come on man you know he's saying oh you know what I'm sorry guys I'm sorry you know I'm, I'm sorry get out of here man you were never sorry up until now because you're faking the funk, dude. You're trying to save yourself. That's how selfish he is. Oh, yeah, guys. I'm always about, you know, people first, money second. You guys know me. Get out of here, dude. That's why as hard as you wanted to talk about the new platform for the CMB alternative, you push it off to the next day. Okay, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Man, if you it would have been a nightmare if you brought that up the same day with CMB. So that was probably one smart thing you did because a lot of dumb things that you did. And he's trying to say he got duped on the contract stuff. Come on, man. It, you, you know, you can't play smart and play dumb at the same time. But moronic and idiot? Yeah, that's, that's what these guys are. Morons and idiots. All right? Stupid? No. Conniving? Yeah. And that's so easy to see. That's blasphemy coming from Marcos, all right? With all that stuff he's doing and lying to you guys all the time. So, yeah. So, that, I mean, that's just my message and response to that stupid video that they did the other day. All right? And hopefully this message rings loud and clear to you guys about it. Plus, you know, I gave you guys news about other platforms Haps and the craps of what's going on. So, hope you guys uh, found this thing informational and real because this shit's real, all right? Just saying. Not some bullshit. This, this is real. And people don't like hearing the truth sometimes. 
Just like these clowns don't. They don't like hearing it. But I'm telling you, man, this is all fake. Open up the chat and all that. That's fake. He's just trying to act cool again and everything, man. Trying to win people back. Just don't fall for it. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs>